Developing right now, a Haines City police officer is expected to fully recover after he was shot in the leg last night with his own gun. Investigators say the officer pulled over a man for speeding here on Highway 27. 10 Tampa Bay's Malik Rankin live at the Haines City Police Department. So Malik, they're making some changes now because of this. That's right. This is the gun holster Haines City police officers currently use. Now, the interim chief tells me they're looking into safer options after someone was able to wedge their finger into this and pull an officer's trigger. This is the moment Officer Dwight Rogers was shot in the leg with his own gun. The suspect's arm is around Officer Rogers' waist and his hand is on the firearm. Interim Police Chief Lloyd Stewart says this should not happen and they're now looking into other holsters that can ensure it doesn't. Would, this part would come up further here. Obviously concerned me a lot that he was able to do it. So how did we get to this point? On Monday night, HCPD officer Dwight Rogers pulled over Luis Feliciano for speeding and swerving along Highway 27. The driver refused to get out of the vehicle at this point, and so Officer Rogers opened the door to the vehicle and physically removed him from the vehicle. Feliciano ended up under arrest for speeding and resisting arrest after refusing to provide license and registration. Stewart said police allowed Feliciano to call someone to get the groceries out of his car, which was being towed away. His girlfriend and her brother, David Antonio Torres Orozco, showed up to the scene. Stewart says the brother got aggressive, then attacked the officers. He immediately begins fighting with the officers and he hears a shot. The officer turns around and looks backwards. He still sees uh, Officer Rogers in an upright position, but Officer Rogers is beginning to fall at that point and falls to the ground. Antonio Torres Orozco faces multiple charges, including felony attempted murder. Officer Rogers is expected to fully recover and will return to duty when ready. To give you a closer look at these holsters, I borrowed this one from the PD. They have straps all over them. You can't just pull an officer's gun out. But the concern with this one, there's enough room to wedge your finger in here and pull the trigger while it's still in here. Now, newer models of this have an extended cover so that that doesn't happen. Malik Rankin, 10 Tampa Bay.